Hi, my name is Celia, and my partners Elizabeth and Richard. We are part of the tech team, and we're going to give you an update about the data visualizations that we've made for you guys this year to kind of help with all the work that you do for the food pantry. So just talking about what type of visualizations we will make, we made three visualizations that you guys can access from the web app um, that will really help you kind of inform purchases in the staffing hours. In our first visualization, the main goal was to visualize the relationship between the days of the week and the number of visitors on each day. In order to do this, we calculated the um, average number of visitors for each day of the week among the past selected amount of weeks. And finally, the benefit of this was to gain insight for pantry workers to attract more visitors on slower days or spread out demand on busier days. Additionally, they'll be able to allocate resources such as staff, food supplies, and volunteers to more effectively meet the demands. Here's an example of the visualization. Um, on the x-axis, we have all the days of the week. And then on the y-axis, we have the average number of visitors. And um, for example, on Monday, we had around 130 visitors, which was the average among the last six weeks on Monday. And then for Tuesday, for example, um, within the last six weeks, we had an average number of around 165 visitors. All right, now I'd like to do a live demo of our visualizations we share. So we can go to the Food Pantry web app, and as you can see, there will be a new tab called Visualizations. We can go into that, and then we can even generate uh, the average people per day. So let's say like over the past seven weeks, And here we can see the average frequency of food pantry visits for the last seven weeks. So talking about visualization two, our goal was to visualize the relationship between the days of the week and the average people per hour. And this should hopefully help with staffing and allocating what hours of the day for a certain weekday should be staffed with the most people or just however you want to interpret that data to help you guys kind of rearrange staff scheduling accordingly. And this is the demo. Um, so this is just an example of one visualization you can do. Um, but on this x-axis, we have the hour of the day in military time. And then on the y-axis, we have the average number of people. And so you can input the amount of weeks that you'd want the data to go back. So whatever present day is today, past three weeks, or past X weeks, that is what this graph represents. So, for example, um, let's just take a look at this. So we chose, we see we are choosing to visualize the weekday Wednesday, and at hour 14 of the day, so 14 minus 12 is 2, at 2 p.m. there are about 34 people per hour on Wednesday. At, um, at hour 15, so that's 3 p.m., there are about 15 people per hour on Wednesday. And so this means that there are more people came into the food pantry per hour at two than they did at three. So now I'm passing off to Richard for the live demo. All right, now I'd like to do a live demo of our visualizations we share. So we can go to the food pantry web app and as you can see, there will be a new tab called visualizations. We can go into that. Let's generate a average people per hour visualization. So let's check um, for the past four weeks on Wednesday. And we can see the visualization here. And we see the X axis here in this case is going to be um, the, the hour. In our final visualization, we aim to visualize the relationship between the average number of each item checked out and the days of the week. In order to do this, we summed up the number of each item checked out for each day of the week over the number of weeks period, and then we divided this by the number of weeks to find the average. Overall, the benefit of this is that we are able to find items with higher averages, which can indicate greater demand and may require increased inventory levels. Additionally, if items show a significant increase in checkout rates during specific times of the year, you're able to anticipate those trends and adjust purchasing accordingly. Here's an example of what this graph looks like. Um, on the x-axis, we have the different days of the week from Monday to Saturday, 
And then on the y-axis, we have the count of item checked out. And in the title, we have the name of the item that was checked out. So in this case, it was chicken. Um, on Saturday, for example, we had an average number of 150 chicken that was checked out among the last three weeks. And for example, on Friday, we had around 250. All right, now I'd like to do a live demo of our visualizations feature. So we can go to the Food Pantry web app, and as you can see, there will be a new tab called Visualizations. We can go into that, and let's say I wanted to visualize the demand of chicken over the last eight weeks. I can go here, select eight, and then search for item. In this case, we want to visualize chicken. And then we can generate the item visualization. So as you see, here we have our visualization of our average count of chicken for the past eight weeks. And we can hover each of these individual bars and check the exact count. We can even copy this visualization to the clipboard, and we can even export it, which will download it to your computer.